Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we'll learn a review of a stock valuation. Let's look at what will you learn from this lecture. First of all, you will learn how do you value a stock. Secondly, we'll also learn about dividend discount model. To find out a stock value, first of all, we need to find out expected cash flows which will be generated from the stock. Secondly, we need to find out appro appropriate risk adjusted discount rate of the stock. And finally, we need to find out present value of the cash flows which will be generated from the stock with the help of appropriate risk adjusted discount rate stocks usually do not have any promised cash flows so companies may or may not pay any dividends to their shareholders however we can still find out the present value of expected cash flows which will be generated from the stock using dividend discount model let's look at the dividend discount model so this is the dividend discount model over here p0 indicates stock value dip1 indicates dividend and er1 then dip2 indicates dividend and er2 and so on r indicates risk adjusted discount rate or simply the discount rate as common stocks do not have any maturity this model will go on cash flows of common stocks are infinite because there is no maturity rate for common stock so if you want to find out value of a common stock using this model you you will boil down to coming up with the expected dividend payments as dividend payments of common stock will go on without any maturity date therefore we need some assumptions suppose it is expected that dividends are if dividends will remain constant so current dividend will be equal to next year dividend for example, preferred stock dividends are fixed, so preferred stock dividends remain constant over its life. So with this assumption, we can find out the value of the common stock of preferred stock using the perpetuity with a constant cash flows. So at the if it is expected that common stocks dividend will remain constant we can use this formula over here p0 is the stock value dab indicates dividend r indicates risk adjusted discount rate or simply discount rate let's look at an example over here the company's dividend is expected to remain constant at three dollar per share and required rate of return or risk adjusted discount rate of this stock is 15 percent so we can find out the value of this stock simply dividing three dollar per share dividend by 15 percent so if we apply constant uh, if we apply, uh, if we assume that dividend will remain constant of this company, value of this stock will be 20 per share, which is simply $3 divided by 15% or 0.15. There is another model we can also use to find out stock value. So in this case, we assume that dividends of the common stock will grow at a constant rate and the growth rate is denoted by g normally for mature companies which usually pay dividend we assume that dividends will grow at a constant rate 
So if we assume that if there is an assumption that dividends of the common stock will grow at a constant rate, in this case, finding out the value of common stock will be very similar to valuing a growing perpetuity. So if we assume that dividends of the common stock will grow at a constant rate, in this case, we can use this formula over here, D indicates dividend, R is the re recurring rate of return or discount rate, and G indicates growth rate of the common stock. This model is also known as dividend growth model. Let's look at an example. Suppose the current market price of this share is $75. And the company has just paid $5 dividend. So this is the most recent dividend and dividends are expected to grow by 2% per year. Finally, required rate of return or discount rate of this stock is 8%. So once again, its current market price is $75. Its most recent dividend payment is $5. Growth rate of this stock is 2%. And finally, discount rate of this stock is 8%. Now, if you want to find out the value of this stock, we can, you can use dividend, constant dividend discount model, constant growth. So over here, P0 indicates value of this stock. $5 is the most recent dividend into 1.02 over here. 0 0.02 is the growth rate of the dividend. So if we multiply 5 into 1.02, it will be able to find our next year dividend. Then we'll divide, divide it by 8%, which is the required rate of return or discount rate of the common stock minus 2%, which is the growth rate of dividend payments of this stock. So using this formula, value of this common stock is 85%. However, if we look at the, the current market price of this stock, it is $75, which is much less than our, calc our calculation, which provided the, which has provided the common stock value is $85. So based on our calculation, current market price of this stock is undervalued. And it happens because uh, uh, analysts or investors might have different growth rate of, or might use different recurring rate of return or they might have different projections about the dividend payments. And therefore, your calculation and market price is not likely to be same. It is important to note that in this model, this model is very sensitive to the estimates of required rate of return and growth rate. If required rate of return changes or if the growth rate changes, value of this stock will also change. So one has to be very careful about formula like this one. Now let's look at Let's look at what will happen if expected growth rate is 1%. In this case, if we find out the value of this stock using 1% growth rate, value of this stock will be 72.14, which is much less than our previous calculation. So what we can say, if we have different growth rate or if we have different recurring rate of return, we might find different valuation of the common stock. We can also use dividend discount model to find out growth rate or recurring rate of return of the stock. Uh, let's look at the example over here again. So, 
this uh, currently the stock is trading at $75 the most recent dividend payment is $5 and discount rate of this stock is 8% now we are to find out the growth rate of this stock so current market price which is over here we, we are substituting p0 by 75 dollar 5 is the uh, most recent dividend payment 8 percent is the record rate of return now we need to find out this growth rate so if we do some cross multiplication we find out the growth rate of this stock is 1.25 percent so using these dividend growth model we can find out growth rate of the dividend we can also find out record rate of return or discount rate of the stock as well let's look at the summary so from this lecture we have learned how to value a stock using dividend discount model we have also learned that firms future cash flows are uncertain and discounting them appropriately we need to discount them appropriately using appropriate risk adjusted discount rate in our next module we'll cover derivative securities